make sure to subscribe, like and turn on post notifications. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Shake Place here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Natural Vision Evolved into 5M. It's a really good looking uh, graphics pack and it'll make your game look incredible. So the first link I'm going to get you guys to go on to is Raised Mods, patreon.com slash raised mods. You need to join the for or gold Patreon to get the early access downloads to my mods or to his mods. And once you've got that, he'll give you a download link. Just follow the download link. And then after that, you want to, it should open up into a zip file or into a WinRAR file. Doesn't matter what you really have, Windows default is alright. You want to right click onto fi uh, NVE5M and press extract all and then press extract. It might take a little bit here to extract but while it's extracting I would like to tell you guys about my new Discord server that I recently made. It's going to be in the description so if you want to come check it out go ahead and you know maybe drop a sub you know. I'm going to try and reach for 30 likes today. It's a pretty far goal but you know we can try okay so once this is downloaded you uh, it's already already opens for you want to drag that onto one side of your screen right click on the file explorer and then right click on the file explorer I mean left click on the file explorer drag this to the top left of your screen if you can't that's all right we'll just put it here for now you want to go to your GTA V directory so first you're going to want to, if you don't know how to find that, you want to, if you have the Steam version, you go to your Steam app library, right click onto it, properties, local files, and then browse. And then you go to, just give me one second, I had a memory blank. Yeah, that's how you find your fire, um, GDA directory. If you have the Epic Games version, you want to go to your this PC, main drive, program files, or whatever you went onto your whatever you installed in, into, and press Epic Games and see GDA V. The first thing you're gonna want to do, open up the N E N B required in the N V E pack. So you wanna test all of these out, see which one runs the best on your PC. If you want it to look the best, you obviously want to go for Ultra, but that's for more higher end systems. I have a 2060 Super, and I usually get 30 FPS on 5M with Ultra, but I get around 60 with the medium. So I'm gonna go for the 60. Low settings, just yes, yeah, if you have a low end PC. Double click onto the one you want, highlight all of these, and then drag them over. Press replace. Okay, so that is it for your GDI directory. You want to exit out of that. Go in here, type up 5M, right click, open File Explorer, drag this onto one side of your screen, right click onto 5M again, press open file location, and double click on application data. And you want to go into citizen, common, data. You want to just keep, never mind, stay on to application data. You want to go back a little bit to main package and then mods. See, it has mods here. You want to double click onto mods. You want to drag all of these over into this one. The only one you don't want to drag over is vanilla map. If your 5M server has a custom map, you don't want to install that because I'm pretty sure it'll crash your game. Now drag all of these over. And once you've done that, you want to go back a few more, go to optional add-ons. If you want to have like enhanced motion blur, stuff like that, you can drag all of these over. Maybe not just not this one because I don't think you can actually do that one. You can install all of these if you want, if you ever wanted to. And then that is it for the download. So then you're going to want to launch up a 5M so you make sure you downloaded it right. Give it a second. And if it has EMB series stuff like that on the top left, you, it's all good. And then you want to click onto the server you want to play. Let it load. 
Once you're in the loading screen, you'll notice in the bottom left that it says a mod pack's loaded. And if it has, I think it's around 11 if you install all of them. It's alright if you don't install in all of them. And then once you load into the actual game, you'll notice that the, the server looks so nice. And if you guys wanted it, wanted to install it into uh, story mode, I'm going to post a video right after this for the story mode package. So, And then once you're in, you'll notice that it looks a lot different from just the loading screen if you're loading here. And then once you're in, you'll notice that your screen looks a little bit vibrant, but it's alright. It looks really nice. You want to run out. And it'll make your look game look so much better. You'll notice if it installs, if you press shift enter, it'll open up this. You want to turn off uh, enable FPS limit limit because it's better for the FPS to go the highest, you know. I'm getting 40 FPS at Mission Row PD. So, I mean, it's still playable, but if you want more FPS, I would recommend going for the low setting. Okay, guys, I think this is it for this video. If you ever, if you wanted to see a story mode version, go on to my next video because that's what I'm going to record right after this one. And yeah, I'm going to try and reach for 30 likes today. So if you can get to that goal, it would be great. And also come check out my new Discord server. It's, I put a lot of effort and time into that one. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. Jake plays heading out.